Chiefs Kingdom, what's going on? Jace Andrews here, host of the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. Appreciate you joining us here today. We got a pretty filled show for you. And uh, it starts off with J.J. Watt talking Chiefs. Interesting take on uh, a new player, let's say. Uh, Louis Rezamit, already friends with Patrick Mahomes. Well, there's a couple pictures of him doing a little workout with Mahomes, and it seems as though him, Kelsey, and Big Red all already have a really, really good relationship. Plus, we're going to give you the latest news on the Rasheed Rice situation. It's not good. I'll just kind of preface with that. However, you know what is good? Or at least I like to think it's good. This show. And so if you're enjoying what you're watching, if you would like to help us out, share this video on Twitter. Tell your friends to watch it. Invite some more people to come and join the Chief Support family. And hey, if you put it on Twitter and you tag me, at ChaseAndrews underscore, well, then guess what? I will retweet you. So, hey, that's the best way you can do it. That's the best way ho hopefully I can help you. So go down there and if you share the video, I'll definitely retweet you. All right, J.J. Watt talks about LRZ. Now, J.J. Watt was on a podcast on Daily Mail recently. He believes that the reason the Chiefs got Louis Rezamit is specifically because of the new kickoff rules. Now, I agree, but let's see what J.J. Watt had to say on it. Quote, with, Lu with Louis Rezamit, the rugby player who has been signed by the Kansas City Chiefs, it's big news. He's strong and looks amazing. They're doing a big reveal on it, which is funny because I saw a meme on it recently that they're doing a reveal for a guy who is going to be fighting for a roster spot. The NFL has just changed the kickoff rules, so I think that's part of why they've signed him as he has experience in this. As rugby has similar style running systems where the kickoffs might play, but there's no guarantee he's going to be a slam dunk, but he's absolutely going to make it, at least from the little that I know about. I completely agree with J.J. Watt there. I think that obviously Louis Rezamit is specifically on this team to be the kick returner, to take over in that spot. Because like he said, the way that rugby is played, the way that you go about rugby, it's very similar into the way that the new NFL kickoff style is going to be. There's going to be two lines lined up, and you're going to have somebody in the back, and they're going to catch it and run with these lines. Very similar to rugby. And what's funny is J.J. Watt is not the only one who shares this sentiment. Louis Rezamit also talked about this because earlier this week, finally got to talk to LRZ with his, I'd say, first press conference. It really wasn't a press conference. It was kind of just a, a slight meeting over uh, Zoom and all that. And he actually got to kind of talk about why he chose the Chiefs and, and what he could see in a potential roster spot on Kansas City squad. He said, quote, yeah, so the plan we've got is obviously the new kickoff rules this year are absolutely massive. That's where my main position is going to be. So I've got to fight to be a starter in that position this year, end quote. Now, what is this whole kickoff rule, Jace? What is it? Why will Louis Rees-Simmons succeed? Well, here's the best way I can kind of show it to you. It's the hybrid kickoff. It's what they're calling it. The ball you see on your screen, that little one at the 35-yard line, that's where the kicker will be. But then the return team's line is going to be set up on that yellow line. You can see them on the red on the bottom. And then the defense, or basically the basically specialist on the other side, will be those blue X's. They'll line up kind of front and front of each other. You'll have one or two returners back. It'll kick off and say the ball goes into the end zone. Well, then the ball goes to the 30-yard line. If it rolls into the end zone, though, the ball goes to the 20. It's promoting people to return the ball. And this is very similar to the rugby style of play where they punt the ball all the way toward the back and guess what? You have a set up of blockers in front of them. And so this is almost the exact same. Obviously, it's the NFL. Obviously, it's going to be different. And obviously, it's going to be a learning curve for pretty much everybody in the NFL, including the Chiefs. But hopefully, maybe they have somebody that could potentially help them with that in LRZ. So knowing all this, do you like the new kickoff rules? Do you think this is going to be something that is going to be helpful for the NFL? You know, Limit injuries, promote more returns, have some fun with it? Well, I think it could be, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Type Y for yes, type N for no. New friends here. LRZ has gotten some friends. Let's just say Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes, they are automatically becoming friends with LRZ. We'll tell you about that in just a moment, but hey, you're still looking for some Chiefs Super Bowl gear? Well, now's the time to get it because you can get this long sleeve Super Bowl t-shirt for 50% off chatsports.com slash sbls slash 
you're going to get this 50% off t-shirt if you're still looking for it. It's pretty nice. I've mentioned this one a couple of times, and I really wanted to bring it back up just because it's still on sale. Not for too much longer, though, I've heard. This yellow Chiefs logo is really hard to find. I really, really enjoy it. I'm guaranteeing you, you're going to like it. It's also pretty soft, so you can check it out, chatsports.com slash SBLS. Super Bowl long sleeve, get it? Yeah. Uh, we'll have that link in the comments and the description of this video. You can go check that out and make sure you get in on your Chiefs Super Bowl gear. All right. Well, Louis Reese making some new friends. Patrick Mahomes talking about working out with him. Well, LRZ is there with all the other wide receivers starting to get his work in with a bunch of different people and just getting set up in a lot of different ways. And he's honestly fit in pretty well right away from what I have heard. Obviously, it's going to take some time, but it's super nice. I mean, you're getting to kind of enjoy it with your teammates. You're being able to kind of meet these guys before you're actually playing football. Obviously, the voluntary workouts are going to start here in just a couple of weeks. I assume LRZ will be there, but he's already getting the early work in here, getting it with Patrick Mahomes, and it's super exciting to see. Now, obviously, this is not the first time that he has spoken to both Patrick Mahomes or Travis Kelsey or Andy Reid. When he signed, guess who was one of the first people to reach out to him? Pat and Travis. We had LRZ say this, quote, to be fair, Pat and Travis have messaged me. Yeah, he's my best mate now. I love that. Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey text me just saying, welcome to KC. If I ever need anything, let me know, end quote. That's awesome there. And he also got a call from Big Red. It's not just Kelsey. It's not just Mahomes. It was Andy Reid saying, hey, bro, we appreciate you are in, we appreciate they're coming to Kansas City. We appreciate they're here hanging out with us, and it's super cool to have them. Uh, James Cook, the Louis Ray Samets trainer, actually said this saying, quote, credit to the Chiefs. Their coach, Andy Reid, was texting, calling him. Their general manager, Rip Beach, was texting and calling him. Quentin, end quote. It, it's great here because it's very clear that LRZ is immediately making himself not only intertwined with the team, but the team is inviting him in, taking him under their wing, allowing them to say, hey, come here. We're going to take you. We're going to have you. And we are going to make sure that we're going to give you the best chance to be our actual, be on, be on the actual roster. And hopefully we can have that happen soon. I'll give you the latest on Rasheed Rice as we round out this show. Um, got some new reports uh, not really good for Rasheed Rice, let's just say that. It's not going to help his case. Ugh, it, it, it was really bad. Jamie Landers had this tweet saying, breaking Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Rasheed Rice was driving 119 miles per hour in the seconds before he caused a multi-vehicle crash that injured at least four people last month, according to an arrest warrant affidite, affidite obtained by Dallas News. That's crazy fast, first of all. Um, not great that that is what happened. Also had a report saying that the car that had the most injuries has a woman who will have permanent life-lasting life, life uh, vision problems and walking problems, uh, along with an injured three-year-old. Um, it, it's not looking good for Rishi Rice, and he has to suffer the consequences of what, quite honestly, was a stupid mistake. You can't put it anyway. Um, just a reminder here, he, he does have eight counts, obviously not six. Uh, Ari kind of had this tweet. So six counts of collision involving bodily injury, one count of collision involving serious bodily injury, that's the one to the woman, and then one count of aggravated assault. Um, the driver of the Corvette is facing the same charges, who we now figure out to be an SMU cornerback. Justina Anderson obviously told us earlier that he did get into the arrest warrant, did turn himself in, uh, but then was released on bond out of the Glen Heights jail. Um, he now awaits his legal process, um, court process, what's going to happen, all the charges. We just wait and sit here and hope that the best happens for everybody in this situation. It's not about Rishi Rice at this point. I hope everybody who was affected by this crash recovers. I hope the, the mom and her, and her, her, her children are, are okay. And I think, I think Rishi Rice thinks the same. I think... He knows that this was a mistake. Unfortunately, though, it's, it's, it's such a big mistake that you're going to have to learn the hard way, and it's going to really hurt him in, in, the, in the future. So tough to see, but we'll obviously keep you updated as the legal process here continues and if the Chiefs end up cutting him or, or what kind of goes on with that. 
We do appreciate you hanging out with us here on the Chiefs Sport Network, kind of ending on a sovereign note there, obviously. Kind of been tough with this whole thing. I don't want to talk about it, but that's just the way it goes here. And so, hey, hopefully we got the draft here coming up here. That'll be fun. going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. And we'll have to have a more positive note coming here in the later parts of the month. We will see you later, though, Chiefs Kingdom, as tomorrow we'll be right back with another video tomorrow. Uh, for now, though, peace out. See you later.